Howdy folks, hope you're all having a great weekend and welcome back to Stray. Yes, it's a Sunday bonus video once again where we finally made it out of the sewers and arrived somewhere a little less dangerous. What the hell is this place, Ginger? It doesn't look like we're in immediate danger of being eaten here though, so that's a good thing. And it is very pretty. Well, I'm not going to find out by just standing here, and I'm a cat, so let's investigate. And pillage. Seems a bit weird. Well, this is a French game. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the French do weird like no other. But what's going on here? B12, what's that? Yeah, I was beginning to suspect that. But anyway, yeah, weird video games. Everybody thinks that the Japanese are the ones who've cornered the market in weird games. And yeah, Hideo Kojima has a damn good stab at making weird games. Anybody who's played Death Stranding in particular will know exactly what I'm talking about. But the thing about... Well, how can I put this? I mean, Hideo Kojima thinks that weirdness is his ally. But he merely adopted the weirdness. The French were born in it. <laughs> right. Moulded by it. The French didn't see normality until they were in the mid-2000s, and by then it was nothing to them but blinding. If you look at some of the French games, particularly the ones published by Infograms in the 90s and early 2000s, you could easily be forgiven for thinking that the single largest consumer of marijuana in the planet would be the French video game development community. They made some really, really weird shit in the late 80s and all throughout the 90s. And then you look at French games nowadays, Ubisoft, they seem to be dedicated to making the most generic shit imaginable. I don't know what went wrong, although I suspect money probably had a lot to do with it, but it seems if you want quirky, original games these days, you have to look to indie French developers like this. So, I mean, this part of the game... Oh, hang on, B12 has something to say. Right, yeah. This part of the game is basically... A, a, a complete change of pace after the utter chaos in the sewers. There doesn't really seem to be any danger here at all. And you can either continue the story by heading up here and going into Midtown, or take on a bunch of harmless side quests like this.
So, yeah. I mean, young gingers have more than enough excitement for the moment. So, let's chill out and do some investigating. Because I'm a cat. But, you know, cats investigate stuff. So, I need to find three different coloured plants for... I've already forgotten his name. <laughs> but let's just take a quick look up here. Because I think this is the way to Midtown. Is there a... I'm not seeing... Oh, we'll come back to that in a moment. Unless there's some kind of puzzle associated with getting up... Oh, there it is. And up here. And that will be it. The way up to Midtown. Across the pipe. And into this tunnel. Well, I don't want to go in there just yet because there's more stuff to explore and investigate down here. So... Three different coloured plants, and I'm seeing the purple ones down below, right at the very bottom. That doesn't mean we shouldn't stop and take advantage of any important cat business along the way, of course. <laughs> oh, I can't push the plant pot. Oh, wait, there's another pot paint here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's right. That's much better. What? No, don't look at me like that. If they didn't want paint pots pushed over, they shouldn't have put them there on ledges in the first place, should they? Oh, there's a bucket over here. That's probably the way. Yeah, that's the way down. Right, so what are we looking for? A purple plant? A white plant? Who's this? Hello. I'm a cat. Ramen J45 with his special ingredient. Is that a, that's not a quest. Okay. So, what was it purple, white and red? Or yellow? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, hang on, I saw the white flowers on the... Um... Yeah, I couldn't interact with them at the time because I hadn't already picked up the quest. There was a tree. Was it over here? Oh, I'm lost already. Definitely saw something. Okay, I'm back with... Um... What's his name? Head down. There it is. I think. No. Yes. Maybe. Purple. Here. There we go. Okay, one down, two to go. Well, let us investigate further. Hello. Oh, hang on a second. Let me just claw up your furniture. There we go. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> so who are you? Because I'm a cat. Okay, let's uh, let's leave Isaac alone, I think. He doesn't seem to have anything useful to add to the conversation. What's around here? Hello. Can we talk to this fella? We can. All right. Yeah, they don't really seem to have anything interesting to say. I'm not entirely sure how many side quests there are in this place. I mean, I found one. But let us investigate further. It is very pretty, isn't it? I can get up here and... Okay, I can get around. Ooh, red plants. I see red plants. Down below, there's a tree. How do I get down there? I'm going to keep an eye open for another bucket. Hello, I'm a cat. Oh God, robot poetry. Yeah, it, it is kind of depressing. I recommend you keep working on it. Okay, we can get down here. And we're back with Isaac. So, the purple plants were up there on the tree. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, sorry about that, but it, it did look kind of interesting. I helped you with your game. No, it's all right. No need to thank me. You're welcome. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> well, there's another bucket over there. Yeah, I did not know that, May, but thank you for sharing. Can we get down that way? Doesn't look like we can. So there's a red tree over there, or a tree with red leaves. How do I get to it? I'm sure I saw a bucket around here somewhere. Oh, oh, hang on a second. Important cat business. There we go. Ah, I improved that for you. You're okay, don't worry. No charge, all part of the service. So anyway, yes, there was a bucket next to the robots who were playing dominoes. Getting to it was a little bit tricky though, but just a little. Right. And here we are. And there are the red flag. Hi guys. I'm a cat. What are you doing? Okay. Whatever you say. I'm going to have these red flowers. And that just leaves... I can't remember what colour. Was it yellow or white? I'll keep an eye open for that. It was yellow. And they're actually not that far from the robot that gives you the quest to find them right next to the bar. You just have to go down here and there they are. Right then. I found your plants, Mr. Robot. Now give me stuff. Hooray! I mean, it's completely pointless, <laughs> but I'll take it. It's a thing that I don't have, which I'm now wearing proudly on my harness, along with the other badge that I collected oh, what feels like ages ago. Right, anyway, I think we're done here. I think we've explored just about everything that there is to see, so onwards and upwards to Midtown, and we're looking for Clementine. First I have to try to remember how to get there. So it was up here, onto the pipes. Yeah, this is it. And through this tunnel. Goodbye, Ant Village. You were pointless, but I kind of liked you. Now where are we? Well, it turns out getting to Midtown wasn't quite as simple as I thought it was going to be. So there is more investigating that needs doing. This kind of looks like a subway station. Yeah. Yeah, it's a subway station. What do you reckon about this B12? This place reminding you of anything? Yeah, we, we figured that one out already. So... Do we have to turn the subway on? Well, I'm sure at some point we're going to find it. Oh, another memory. Quite a significant one as well. All right. So is there anything actually in here? No, I can't access the controls. I mean, I'm a cat. <laughs> I'm a pretty smart cat, but I don't think I'm quite that smart. What's going on back here? Anything? Nothing down there. I mean, this place has power. Let's try up here. 
Ooh. There's, a, there's somebody over here. Hello. We got memory. What's this? Another memory. Who's this then? The doc does not have an awful lot to say. Doesn't seem to recognise Clementine either. There's something over there though. What's this? Oh, it's a radio. Okay, fine. I suspect we are nearing our goal. Oh, what's going on here? Robots being chased by a thing. This is kind of looking midtowny though. Is this it? I mean, it's a populated area once again. They have power, they have hello. What's going on here? Wanted, Clementine, troublemaker, outsider, rebellious. Please report any sightings. Oh, fantastic. Clementine's the one we're looking for, isn't it? Might not be a great idea to advertise the fact that we're looking for her. So, of course, I advertise the fact that I'm looking for her. <laughs> Probably don't want to be showing that picture to any of the authorities. Like that. I don't know what that robot did, but I bet he's regretting it around about now. Are we talking about some kind of authoritarian police state here? Peacemaker, cooperate or we'll have to transfer you to jail and reboot you. Okay, I'll, I'll cooperate. Anything back here? It looks like the kind of place where there might be a secret or a memory. Oh, there's another robot. Hello, Mr. Robot. Have you seen this boy? Well, we appear to have found our way to Midtown. Oh, hang on a second while I just uh, improve your mattress. There we go, it's all better now. Nice and scratched. So Clementine's definitely up here and she's wanted by the authorities. And I need to find Clementine. I suspect there may be a conflict there. And there doesn't seem to be any easy way back down to the levels that I came from, so... Okay. Is there anything back here before we head further into Midtown? Again, this looks like the kind of place where you might find a secret or a memory. Um, no, no, nothing there. Alright. So, I guess um, there's nothing else for it but head into Midtown, try to stay out of trouble with the law, and find Clementine. Ladies and gentle cats, welcome to Midtown. And on that note, that's going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed it this far. I hope you're all having a great weekend. And as always, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time.